Hey guys, I've been playing a lot of this pure mill warlock. It's the old style. Doesn't run the flesh giants. Doesn't run the the hand stuff. Um, I saw it on ladder, and I kept thinking, oh, this. W w why are they playing this? It runs rods. This is terrible. Rods are four mana now. Um, and then I finally played it. Uh, and I'm on the stream. I think I had a 60% win rate climbed from like rank 200 to rank 80 um, And I was very surprised because I thought this would be bad um, I tried another one with soul rend. I think the the optimal list uh, this one runs Grimro sacrifices It was really interesting and I think part of the power of the Grimro not only um, Do you not have to mill cards so you can have the consistency uh, which can actually be a negative in some matchups, but um, it just you have a lot of one drops, so it's pretty easy. And what's nice about it is that uh, you can't they can't cult neophyte you. So uh, a deck when you only run soul rain is your major clear. Uh, what they can do is they can play a bunch of stuff, and then right now when you, you go on your turn four, they kill cult neophyte. Well, now you just go two regard Grimro for two, and you clear their board. Um, so I think that's real nice. Uh, the Grimro scales with things like Blood Mage Thanos and Morgs. Yeah, but this deck is running Morgs. So the Morgs. One are just good with pretty much all your spells. Um, they're a uh, two-four minion, and also they they're good. You can do big heals uh, with the drain soul. So if you're up against a match that's doing a lot of damage to you, and you can go you know something like double more Tamsin, uh, double drain soul. Uh, and you can you know get to full life from barely from you know six life. Uh, so that's part of the power of this deck. Um, it does run weapon as well. Uh, the weapon's very slow. Uh, but you know in a match where your opponent has a turn where they don't put on pressure uh, the weapon is very good Surprisingly uh, to the end of the day, you know, it's still four mana Get two hands full discounts. So it ends up netting you like 15 mana still like so the cards still broken. It's just awkward to get down so the It still nets you so much mana overall uh now obviously they can run ooze but uh i don't think i, I got oozed one time uh with this card i think i even had a, a somebody who traded away their ooze and then i played it uh they didn't realize oh uh warlock is rubbing weapon again maybe i should keep the ooze um so deck feels uh, really good but the spots and part of the reason i wanted to show this to you guys is the the matchups that really suck the, the matchup that's two matchups that are worse our Gara Rogue, well, that's getting nerfed. And if it gets nerfed, because I've, I've tried, like, ideally you're supposed to armor vendor in time. Players just hold an Aug Merchant and they easily get, like, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm getting up to 38 life and then they go do 46 to me. You know, like, so it's it's very, very hard to beat a good, competent Gara Rogue player who does it just absolutely low roll their hand. Um, but we were doing against other rogues, so there's... Uh, or the new tempo rogue so people are trying out the tempo rogue i've got a video coming up on that one too uh the the tempo rogue that runs uh scabs and edwin um and the more board based variants we, we really crush those so uh depending on which version you're playing uh this deck can be very good against rogue or very bad against rogue because remember this deck is good against board uh its weakness is uh you know sort of damage from hand a aka garrett's so um mulligans uh i'd be keeping backfire um if any aggressive matchup i'd say grimro sacrifice is the number one keep you need um if you're in a aggressive matchup i'd be throwing away everything except grimro sacrifice and maybe backfire just because it increases the odds of you drawing uh grimro sacrifice um yeah once again if you if you don't know if i didn't emphasize earlier what grimro sacrifice is here it is destroy friendly minion deal two damage to all enemies sorry if i didn't say that earlier uh, but yeah, I would be keeping that um, and then I keep weapon in a non-aggressive matchup, but Don't weapons actually it's a best keep or worst keep So if it's a matchup where you know your opponent's not being very aggressive uh, Maybe something like a, another warlock uh, You absolutely need weapon. Um, I might even keep against a rogue But if you're up against like a hunter or a druid or you know a shaman Maybe that's you know like an agro elemental shaman or something like that uh, don't keep weapon it's massive bait so I would even say if, you, if you're not sure what your opponent is probably don't keep weapon uh, but uh, yeah like I said Grimro sacrifice really really good really important a lot of matchups are won and lost if you draw Grimro sacrifice in the first four turns uh, you're up against an aggro druid if you don't draw Grimro sacrifice you're gonna lose the game um, I might come up with a, a a sort of more refined list 
later uh, to try out more of the stuff. Uh, sort of putting in a soul rend in addition might be this, but I don't really know what to cut. Um, I don't really want to cut Blood Mage Thalos. Um, you know, I could cut a you know, Mortal Club. Everything feels very tight right now. There's no card that I feel like, oh, this card's expendable, uh, which is annoying. So sometimes the hardest thing when you're, you know, modifying decks, and I didn't build this deck, but when you're building decks is not figuring out what to put in, but what to cut. Uh, what is what is the, the the card that not is not holding its weight? So, anyways, uh, I got some games showcasing the the power of this deck. Um, and like I said, this deck I think will be very very good after the nerfs. Uh, I think it's already good now. I just don't think it's top tier, uh, but I think it might go to being top tier after the nerfs because it's got a much better hunter matchup, which is the deck that's looking to be the big winner of the nerfs. So, anyways, got some games for you guys. Enjoy. Alright, dude. Get banned. Let me work my magic. This is lucky. I mean, we would have easily lost that game if we didn't hit that. We just take way too much damage. Not fast enough. Your choice. Did they choose not to hit to just trade off their minions there? It seems really bad to be honest. Want to know why they call me Kodo I mean I guess they know I can do scalable heal there. So I guess they don't know my hand. So I guess it's fine. They have a good way of telling this, unfortunately. They can do uh, they can do ten damage pretty easily. Uh, Eleven pretty. I think we're not dead here, so. But we're in a bad spot. That's for sure. Um, Can we draw six cards here? One, two, three. Right now we have uh, a good amount of draw, honestly. Wait, does that, does that draw six? I think that does draw six. This. And this is to go even further beyond. Good turn. Just 
a bird of Easy. Channel, well, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming. Get on that subject or anything as much, Shadow Wolf. Well fought, I can see. Alex, you have to like the, the six mana, Alex. Wonder if we'll see if players can get good enough that deck it becomes top meta. Gonna make some popcorn, dude. Popcorn. Ugh. I'm still doing my keto diet. I haven't had popcorn. I, I haven't had popcorn in months. Wait, crap. That was a mistake. Uh, my orders are incorrect. More bones to I'm supposed to uh, hit him in the face first and then give her the armor. More bones to By doing that, you make it so their flesh giants get down later. Dude, was, was duels ever even alive? I don't even know it was a thing. I do see some like occasional Reddit screenshots of check out my duels deck, man. I should honestly go armor vendor here. Keep denying the. Armor, armor, 
want to keep denying their um their flesh giants for a little bit longer, you know? Chat ba battlegrounds is still in beta. Dude, Hearthstone, for all we know, might still be in beta. It's a burden. Blood is my currency. Out of time. One Hearthstone. Dude, dude, did you know your mom streams? That's who I would do it. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> All right, I'm mad about this conversation thing, so I'm banning both of you. I just like this. These are conversation topics. I don't want to this. So mm -hmm. I tried to. Blood is my currency. I don't have any more good board clears. I'm gonna use this, but I don't really.
accustomed to the smell. You get accustomed to the smell. My courage. Yep. Only good in slow matchups. What's my keto dinner tonight? Uh, I had two sausages. Armor, armor, lightly oh my god, it's a thing of uh, cheddar string cheese. Dude, it is interesting. Yeah. Risking it here. Gonna raise that now. Oh. 
So here's the play. Oh, this play's so good. What's my order? I know people, uh, there's a lot of un uh, unintuitive ordering. Um, oh, okay. In this deck, like when we, cause you, cause of uh, things like raised deads and, oh, okay. Oof. Oh, this might have been a big mistake. We know because of weapon would be a big mistake here. The so play, playing the armor vendor if they have five drop plus weapons specifically. Oh, the, the divine shield's real nice there, but we still crush this, right? Like 80 armor vendors in our pool, but I didn't have one. It's actually, that's really bad to be honest. Like, oh, this is so bad. I might have thrown here. Uh, Break it, you buy it. Well, I might as well play this because I have the one drop there, so. Not, uh, I might have thrown here with this play. See if they have it here. Yeah, fairly off. Live to see another day, chat. Um, what's our good topic here? The artificer. How powerful is the armor vendor? It's like a four, dude. 